Hey everyone, Beat Chow here, and we're back. And on today's episode, we got a box from the other side of the pond for the Royal Infield Hunter 350. So let's get to work and do some unboxing because this is Pinchy Al's Garage. Now, John from Hitchcock's Motorcycle, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, Hitchcock's Motorcycles from the other side of the pond. Uh, where, where are they coming from? Uh, United Kingdom from the UK. We reached out to them to see if they were willing to get involved with Binge Al's Garage with our Royal Infield motorcycles. Now, they said they were willing to give us a try. So we're gonna start with an unboxing. I ordered a bunch of stuff for this bike and a bunch of little simple modifications so they can see how content is created here at Binge Al's Garage and see if they enjoy what we do. If they do, we're gonna proceed and get more stuff rolling for this bike. Again, this bike, we're gonna turn into a scrambler. So hopefully they're excited for what we wanna do with the bike and see if they wanna get more and more involved with it. So let's get to unboxing. Now this unboxing is strictly for the Hunter 350 from Royal Enfield, and this is the 2023 model. So I reached out to Hitchcock and see if they were willing to Number one, get involved with Pinchy Al's Garage and help us generate some content. And content with new products for the Hunter 350. They said they would. So this video is sponsored by them. I already freaking opened the box, by the way. Um, I had a technical difficulty. Difficulty. I set the camera to record in a time lapse and not on a normal video. So I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see the cutting with the cheap box blade, but Right here on the side, here's the time-lapse video if you want to just go really quick to the video and just have no audio with it. Unfortunately, it's just my fault. Um, I got ahead of myself. I didn't check the settings. I really actually did get really excited. But without further ado, here's the unboxing. Yay! <laughs> so, they use newspaper for packing. I actually respect that a lot because that's, um, I mean, look who's up in the front cover. There's Putin. Putin um, and I'm actually gonna end up reading the newspaper because I'm curious on what they have on on that side of the pond uh, for <laughs> for news um, so I'll be reading that later in the restroom first thing that came in and I saw it on the top of the box was these bad boys if you drive if you ride a hunter 350 you know exactly how much of a headache the factory level levers are. They're garbage. Honestly, they're probably the worst things I've ever used. And yeah, get some adjustable levers from Hitchcock and they're fully adjustable. They're CNC aluminum and these things are gorgeous. They're pretty, I'm not gonna take them out of the box. I just want you guys to see what we received. We're actually gonna be doing a full DIY on this. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna set this one aside. We got a cute little Gibby bag. Look at this thing. Uh, this is the EA132B tail bag with the belt system. Super cool bag. Uh, we're gonna be doing a review and we're gonna show you guys how to install it on your Hunter 350. Packing slip with my hardware stapled to it. I actually got my two uh, plugs here for removing the uh, mirrors and a crush washer. And then it's a packing slip that comes included. Set that aside. We got knee grips or just tank covers for the side of the tank. I wanted something super simple and Hitchcock delivered. This things, these things are legit. Uh, so we'll be doing a DIY and installing these and see if we can get these centered beautifully on the tank uh, where they need to go. And then the most important upgrade you can get on a Hunter 350. And I'm not kidding, um, especially when it comes to safety. Some bar end mirrors. And the reason why I'm saying this is the most important thing you can put on your bike, the factory mirrors on these things are awful. They are the worst things I've ever had on a car, uh, a bike, or a car actually and you gotta keep in mind if you guys watch my channel you know my car 
my cars in general have solid motor mounts and they vibrate like no tomorrow, but I can still see through the mirror. These factory mirrors on this bike are literally near impossible to see through when you're going through the uh, gears. It is, they're horrible. And I honestly think it's actually a safety issue. Um, you just cannot see through them. They're very, very difficult to see through and it's very unsafe, honestly. So we upgraded to bar and mirrors on the bike. And then this is the big reason why I ordered through Hitchcock Motorcycles, their maintenance kit, okay? It is legitimately half the cost of the dealer. Okay, this is the air filter, factory rural infield, okay? Rural infield, this is a factory part. This is not a like a cheap copy or a aftermarket copy part. It is an official branded rural infield part. Okay, air filter. And then spark plug, oil filter, crush washer, valve cover gasket, um, valve cover uh, uh, grommet gaskets, the uh, oil uh, O-rings for pretty much the oil filter on top, the uh, drain plugs on the bottom, everything you need to do an oil change besides the oil and actually the full service on your bike for half the cost. It's insane. I paid a hundred dollars and I didn't even get an oil filter. I mean an air filter. I paid a hundred bucks for this for literally this little baggie here and I'm never ever again going back to the dealership to buy my maintenance um, and for how fast they ship this stuff to me it's not even funny I ordered it on Friday and I got it legitimately on Monday and again this is coming from the UK so you guys on the other side of the pond you guys got shipping down you guys got it so if anybody from Royal Enfield that owns a bike from Royal Enfield Hitchcock Motorcycles, you guys already got five stars from Pichiao just on number one, choice and parts, number two, shipping, number three, the ease, the entire ease of this process. And you guys have some really cool parts that are actually recommended for the bike due to its size. Um, believe me, I was shopping for actually to tail and um, or uh, I guess, yeah, yeah, tail bags. And every bag that I shot for for my uh, Hunter 350 was like 20, 30 liters. This is an 11 liter bag. Perfect for my camera gear, batteries, my water, and actually my uh, riding pants that I wear um, that roll up like super tiny. They fit all in this one bag. Again, I'll show you guys how to install all of this stuff. And then if Hitchcock Motorcycles really, really enjoys what we do, We're gonna do a performance cam from them because they actually carry performance cams. We're gonna do the scrambler or dual sport tires on this because we want to off-road this. LED turn signals front and rear, LED headlight. We're gonna upgrade, uh, we're gonna do custom fenders from the front and rear. I wanna get the RPM tack for, uh, for this because I really wanna know the RPMs on this bike for shifting especially. Um, I want to buy the GPS setup that you can get online uh, for this guy. Uh, a full exhaust, I don't want this factory exhaust. A sump guard, a crash bars, and if everything else goes well, we're gonna do swap out all the fluids, upgrade the pads, probably gonna upgrade down the road the, uh, the levers to better um, brake system. We want something with better braking power. Shocks for the rear. And I believe you can get uh, performance uh, fork upgrades as well. So this is all the stuff I'm really, 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 really excited for. So I'm hoping that Hitchcock Motorcycles enjoys this video. If they do, we got so much more to come because we got all these products to install and show you guys the DIY and how to do it all. And then if they like that, maybe they can give us a full sponsorship, wink, wink, and get us involved in more stuff because I have an Interceptor 650 as well from Rowan Infield that I really want to do a bunch of modifications to, but I'm not going to go there unless they really, really enjoy what we do here. All right. Thank you, everybody, here at PTL's Garage for watching this quick unboxing from Hitchcock's Motorcycles. Peace out. And as always here at PTL's Garage, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat. Deuces.